Hi friends, MD Vegan. I'm making cucumber salad today. Again, and uh, as that's one of my standard salads. To have these beautiful cucumbers here, French, Japanese, Spanish, you can call them whatever you like, but they have a thin peel, that's the thing. These peel, cucumbers do not need to be peeled. You could, some people take half the peel off, for example, you know, stripes here, leave some on, some peel it completely. Um, but these kind of, you don't need to because the peel is thin and not so hard. So there are other cucumbers, land cucumbers, they are smaller, very thick peel, and you would rather peel them, but these are not necessary. You like them a lot. They're food and drink at the same time. Most of this is you know, 70, 80, 98, or 97%, I don't know, is all water. It's almost only water, <laughs> and but it's also very healthy. The green, of course, it's uh, my daily green, that would be okay. And the Roman soldiers on their marches for days and weeks, they had always in their tonister backpack. They were food and drink at the same time. So cultivated for thousands of years, a classic. It's a fruit, by the way. Seeds are inside. That means it's a fruit. And um, I always make them, <clears throat> my favorite um, cucumber salad is just slicing them on a mandolin. I have a nice mandolin here, you see. Mandolin means it has a V-blade, V-shaped blade. These are very sharp. And you can here turn here a little bit around and make the, the, the slices thinner and thicker. And um, there are different kinds of inlays here, like stripe, stripes or other shapes. Uh, but this one is just for slices. And these mandolins, I'll show you how to use it. They are best to use, in my opinion, with a cut-resistant glove. There's only one glove. The other hand holds the mandolin. And then the glove, um, because uh, you cannot cut yourself. <clears throat> these blades are sharp. And when you move your hand fast, I'll show you, like this. First I check. Yeah, that's a good size. When you move your hand fast, at some point the hand comes closer and closer to the blades and then if you touch the blade it's a terrible, terrible story because um, they're very sharp. And so I was always concerned using my mandolin because at some point I would touch the blades almost and then I don't know what to do. <laughs> but here, if I cut the, if I touch the blade, then nothing happens. It's a cut resistant loaf after all, and it's cost ten dollars or so, ten euros. You can get them online usually. There are some shops, meanwhile, they have them, but uh, I haven't seen them that have them now for many years. These cut resistant loaves, and I never found them. Yeah. There are gloves for heat. Heat resistant for the oven. Yeah, for the oven, there is a, these kind of gloves you can easily get, but in every shop, but for kitchen, but but for the cut resistant glove they don't have it. And that's so funny because these um, these mandolins are so useful, and even the chefs in the great kitchens, the professionals, they use them because you can make the perfect slices, and you don't need to have any skills here, you know. But um, if I would say recommend to, to get a mandolin, I would always say get a mandolin together with a cut resistant glove. <laughs> that is a whole different story, it's a game changer. I'm so happy to use my mandolin now because of that glove. Okay, so the base of the cucumber salad is the cucumber and the dressing, creamy dressing for example, and an onion for example. Yeah. So an onion, I, when I have only onion I take thin slices, I slice the onion on a mandolin too, Wafer thin onion slices, even thinner than cucumbers, are perfect for cucumber salad. When you have only cucumbers and onion and dressing, that's enough. That's a basic cucumber salad for me. I don't need more. But today, I make it a little more fancy. I have, for example, I like that a lot, um, avocado. I like avocado cucumber salad. Just somehow, and I want a beautiful avocado here. They are perfect together with cucumber. And the classic, the classic dill, a cucumber herb, herb is dill. Uh, this is a very unique herb. It uh, has its own family. You see the little, it's like an ever, evergreen, they look like, little needles here. And they're very tender. Um, and I have a whole bunch, these so-called cucumber herb. 
um, is especially for cucumber salad. In Germany, we have always dill and cucumber together. Not always, but it, it's really classic and it has a very calming effect on the stomach. It's wonderful for digestion. It has a very intense flavor. Um, dill, maybe you know, and love it for cucumber. So uh, today I put it on and what nobody does usually, and what I have been doing for, for so long now, sometimes I like a lot um, a hazelnut on the cucumber salad. You see, these are halved hazelnuts, just a handful of hazelnuts on the cutting board. You barely touch them with a knife, with a chef's knife, and they jump open into halves. You know, that's what I do for my cucumber salad, because that makes the cucumber salad more, um, you see, half, more um, nutritious and gets a crunch into it. In my opinion, it's perfect for cucumber salad. And, well, I think not everybody likes it. Yeah, I, I know, but you just leave it away if you don't like it. But you try to try, I can really recommend cucumbers uh, salad with, <laughs> with the, the hazelnuts, halved hazelnuts is wonderful. And I have a red chili pepper. Yeah. So it's a very big cucumber salad today. Just one little chili pepper in slices. Yeah. Keep some for decoration. And that's it. And my dressing for today, I have it for some weeks now, maybe month even. Uh, that is a garlic cashew dressing. I like that a lot. It's very versatile for many, many salads. And it's easy to make. It's, it's lots of cashews, lots of garlic. It's really lots of garlic. Um, but you can take less. And then lemon a little bit, pepper and salt. That's it. And a little bit of water. Yeah. How to make it, I show you in another video. You find the link under this video. And it's very easy and um, you can make it thicker and thinner, whatever you like, whatever you kind of salad you want to make. You can also put more or less garlic. Yeah, you can also change everything. But I like it with a lot of garlic. That's really um, uh, the nice thing about this dressing. And I'll put it over the cucumber salad now. See, nice amount. It's a lot of lot of ingredients here. Um, cucumber salad can be very light, you know, and it can also be more more filling with avocados and uh, dill and um, hazelnuts. Then you have a lot to eat here. But you can also eat that with a, a nice potato or so. Have a whole dish. It's very simple. Uh, cucumber salads are amazing. Uh, I find. They are so unique. I um, don't know what I can replace the cucumber with in the kitchen. I always try to have one at home. And um, they're so nice. And I always make a different a new salad. I've never made this one before. Let's see what it looks like, but I already know that it will be fantastic. Yeah. And um, that's what it looks like. And we enjoy greatly. And to you, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, like my video, subscribe and leave vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. It's for endless vegan variety to enjoy. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.